Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. No. No. Oh God. Oh Jesus. Oh God. Oh no. Run down, pipe, whatever they did. Pine, pine, run down, pine. It's just in the top right. I catch him, I push him in the face. I hear the gunshot go off in my arm. I move right in time when he reaches something. I move right. But my whole thing was to protect those people. That's it. And my whole thing was to protect those people down there. Did you know? Did you know who it was? Did you know that person?
involved with the motorcycle club that taunts Nazi symbols, white supremacy symbols. We know who he is. We know who he is. But the thing is...
But hello, my friends, it is I, Jax, Raging Bile Duck, otherwise known as Jack Bear. We're uptown now, and as you can see, none of these motherfuckers are wearing a mask, congregating as if there is not a fucking thing wrong. That's right. Un goddamn believable. These motherfuckers are gonna cause another fucking pandemic. Motherfuckers. Fuck these son of a bitches. begin tonight with a sudden surge in cases of coronavirus across the country. At the same time, the government is warning that the financial damage caused by the pandemic will last for years. Tonight, the head of the Federal Reserve says Congress may need to do more to help those who are out of work, saying millions of Americans who lost their jobs will not get them back even after the country fully reopens. Vacationers are back on the sands of Miami Beach tonight. But that comes as we're learning 16 states are seeing dramatic increases in cases since Memorial Day, including in Texas and Arkansas, where hospitals there are facing record numbers of coronavirus patients. And as we come on the air, more than 112,000 people have been killed by the virus nationwide. And there are nearly 2 million confirmed cases here in the U.S. Tonight, CBS News has learned the president's coronavirus task force is privately warning governors there could be an even bigger spike in cases following those protests over the death of George Floyd. Two weeks after the Memorial Day holiday, some states are not only seeing a spike in coronavirus infections, but a surge in cases filling up hospitals. Texas reports more than 2,000 hospitalized, a record high. Arkansas hit a record, too. And in Arizona, officials urged hospitals to fully activate emergency plans, as nearly 80% of adult ICU beds are full. Some hospitals say they've already reached capacity. CBS News obtained audio of the president's coronavirus task force, telling governors they're worried about a spike in infections due to recent protests. This was Dr. Deborah Burks on the call. It does worry me because not everyone was in a mask. Um, and some people were shouting. And we don't know the efficacy of masks with shouting. It all adds up to a pandemic Dr. Anthony Fauci calls his worst nightmare. He had this reminder. Masks can help, but it's masks plus physical separation. The push for a vaccine got a boost from the federal government, which reportedly announced it will fund and conduct three trials this summer, involving roughly 30,000 people in more than 50 cities. A vaccine can't come too soon, as more places with crowds indoors, like movie theaters, plan to reopen. AMC announced a plan to open its doors next month. As for the outdoors, Miami reopened beaches for the first time in three months. Months ago, the Trump campaign officially announced its first rally since the pandemic, confirming that the president will hold a rally next Friday in Tulsa at a venue that can hold 19,000 people. And get this, anyone attending must agree to the following disclaimer. This is already there. By clicking register below, you are acknowledging that an inherent risk of exposure to COVID-19 exists in any public place where people are present. By attending the rally, you and any guests voluntarily assume all risks related to exposure to COVID-19 and agree not to hold Donald J. Trump for President, Inc., B the BOK Center, ASM Global, or any of their affiliates, directors, officers, employees, agents, contractors, or volunteers liable for any illness or injury.